Lissandro Martinez keeps it real when asked about the clash between Andre Onana and Harry Maguire. Lissandro Martinez has shared his thoughts on the incident between Andre Onana and Harry Maguire during Manchester United's friendly against Borussia Dortmund. Onana, who joined the Old Trafford outfit from Inter Milan for £47.2 million, made his debut against Real Madrid before facing Borussia Dortmund. The Red Devils suffered defeats to both Real and Dortmund, but their new goalkeeper made an instant impression among fans online. He was seen berating Maguire in a moment that angered TalkSport pundit Gabriel Agbemlayer, who defended the England international. Anana himself gave his side of the situation as he hailed his relationship with the former Man United captain. Martinez has now weighed in on the clash between Anana and Maguire as he liked the passion shown from the Cameroonian. It's better for, the Argentinian defender said. If you are focused, you can fight with your teammates as well. You need to make sure everyone is really sharp, but nothing happened. It's part of football. He has a big personality. He can play football. He can deal with the pressure. He's really positive. He's a leader. That's the style of Manchester United. Martinez was also asked about Maguire being stripped of the captaincy by Eric Ten Hag. Bruno Fernandes is the new skipper, with the 25-year-old backing the manager's decision. It's the coach's decision and we need to respect it. He's the boss, he added. If he takes the decision, as a player we need to keep going. Bruno is a good leader and a good person as well. He's really positive in the dressing room and I think he deserves it. Maguire's future continues to be clouded by uncertainty, with West Ham United thought to be keeping tabs on the player. As for Martinez, he missed the end of last season after picking up an injury against Sevilla in the Europa League but he's back to full fitness ahead of the 2023-24 season. In other news, Blazers meet Ten Hag's demands as Man United boss eyes two more signings after Hoyland. Rasmus Hodgland has arrived at Old Trafford, and while plenty, even some within Manchester United, feel the club are shelling out top dollar at £72 million for a young striker, the move places a third big tick on Eric Ten Hag's transfer wish list. United's boss started the summer wanting a top-quality goalkeeper, international-class attacking midfielder, and a striker, so it is job done on that with Mason Mount, Andre Onana and Hoyland in. But Ten Hag has told United's board he needs more bodies and if they are to mount a proper challenge on the Premier League and make good on their return to Champions League action this season. And for that, Ten Hag wants a defensive midfielder and, ideally, backup defensive options to cover the injury-prone Rafael Varane. Further additions to his squad will be dependent on outgoings with as many as nine first-team squad players considering their options or eyeing moves away. United are understood to have a net budget of around £120 million to spend but have blown that and more already with the purchases of Mount, Onana and Hoyland. In order to balance the books there is a fire sale going on of players who Ten Hag still believes could be useful as backup at United but is willing to let go. Chief among them is Harry Maguire who has already been the subject of a £20 million bid from West Ham which was rejected. If the Hammers come back in with another offer closer to £30 million the England man could go if West Ham can stretch to somewhere near his current £200,000 a week wages. David Moyes is understood to be keen on taking both the England defender and Scott McTominay, something you United were thought initially amenable to for the right price, but the ankle injury to highly rated Kabi Mainu which will rule him out of the first part of the season has altered their thinking. Ten Hag loves McTominay's work ethic and does not want to leave himself short in the middle. Fred, on the other hand, will be allowed to go with Galatasaray keen to take the Brazilian to Istanbul after Lazio publicly distanced themselves from a move. Donny van de Beek could also bring his unhappy stay at Old Trafford to a conclusion with a move away with his old club Ajax and Real Sociedad both touted as possible suitors. Ajax's possible interest in Van de Beek brings Mohamed Kudus into the equation in a possible player swap deal, which would include cash. But United are mindful of accusations of overpaying for talent from Eredivisie after Antony's monumental £85 M price tag last summer. Elsewhere Tom Heaton, Nathan Bishop and Dean Henderson could all still leave the club but Ten Hag will not leave himself without reliable backup to Onana. Fiorentina's £26 million rated Morocco international holding midfielder Safian Amrabat remains a target as defensive midfield option to alternate with Casemiro given United's increased workload this season. But suggestions the club are ready to hijack a £41 million deal between Southampton and Liverpool for Romeo Lavia look wide of the mark.
Wherever they turn books need to be balanced first. Earlier this summer, United announced the contracts of Phil Jones, Ethan Galbraith, Dishon Bernard, Eric Hanbury, Manny Norkit, and Charlie Wellens had all expired. Anthony Alanga's £15 million move to Nottingham Forest has boosted coffers. But Brandon Williams, Alex Tells, Eric Bailey, Hannibal Medjbury, and Anthony Marshall are all in the shop window as United seek to get their transfer business concluded with a net spend of £120 million or thereabouts. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.